Hi guys, welcome to the channel. General log reading for my friends Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for September 2020. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So, guys, opening theme for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, September 2020. Let's see what we can get for you guys. go you get two hold your vision and conclusions are within reach so maybe a very significant outcome that you truly desire to achieve can be on its way you need to be focused you know kind of like the last uh, 100 meters this can be um, a very important uh, encouragement to um, keep your focus together, you know, in order to make the best out of the situation. Let's find out more about these energies. Let's see what the Tarot has to say for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, September 2020. Right, this one wanted to come out the fool, and here we go. Then the chariot, nine of wands, queen of pentacles, four of cups, ace of cups, the hermit, six of cups, eight of pentacles. Talk about uh, keeping focus, maintaining a driven approach. Knight of Wands, there is a fired up way of doing things that can be helpful because maybe there is indeed a major goal that can be achieved. Now, guys, first row of energies, usually the person that you are dealing with, the person, your person of interest, let's say, uh, feel free to pick your side if you feel that the reading is going to resonate in the reverse. The full energy, the chariot, nine of wands, this person has gone through quite a lot um, along their journey, basically. They have persevered, they have endured through a significant number of tests and challenges. They have learned quite a lot of lessons, you know, uh, about themselves, first and foremost. And this is the key point of the journey learning about ourselves is the best possible way for us to um, approach the everyday interactions in a positive way being able to interact with those around us in a proficient and productive way in order to call in positive interactions now this person may have left behind disappointments and regrets also because the chariot is um, a movement forward towards success we can agree on that and with the fool there is a leap of faith in order to begin a new chapter the fool is ready to embark on a journey to go all out on an adventure he is not Bilbo Baggins but uh, he is ready to do the same thing maybe he is not leaving the shire but again is ready to move to travel to pursue his goals because he wants to learn new things he want to he wants to enrich himself the chariot can be about travel indeed for this person maybe they have moved you know leaving behind something that uh, was overwhelming for them that may have taken a toll on them this is an auspicious energy, very optimistic, um, kind of aiming at the brightest star, um, following it in order to be guided towards the opportunities that can be the ones for this person in order to move closer and closer towards the goals, yes, that they may have in their hearts, you know? 
Second row of energies, guys, usually you watching, heart of the reading, four of cups. The feeling that I'm getting is about um, a way of seeing things in the love arena. Maybe true for some of you, even one. And um, a way that can be found in the old your vision. Usually the Four of Cups get the meaning about um, these men being too closed off, you know, and kind of running the risk of uh, losing a divine offer, you know, because maybe it is not exactly how he wanted it to be. This can be a, um, a scenario in play for some of you, but I, I am leaning towards the feeling about the fact that with the Ace of Cups being present, you are aware of what love is and what is the role that you want for love in your life meaning that you are not interested in casual connections i hope that you get my point and i am uh, trying my best to be clear this approach being a little bit closed off may be about some of you guys that is choosing in an aware way to not being involved in casual connections that you know are not the one that you have wished for because you are able to channel a beautiful queen of pentacles energy which is the embodiment of someone loving and caring towards herself the queen because she has mastered the self-love that we can find also in the Ace of Cups, because love starts from within, and then this is why it is possible to share it and offer it in favor of a fair companion. The Queen of Pentacles is often seen as a source of encouragement, you know? People go to the Queen of Pentacles seeking for advices, for example, seeking for words of encouragement, yes, support also. You can be perceived as a very understanding individual, but for this very reason, you kind of desire to be with a person that can match these frequencies by your side, basically. And this is understandable, if I may say, you know what love is, and you are kind of calling love in your life. Now, meeting of the energies, pretty interesting and powerful too, I want to say. Um, heart and soul can play a huge, huge role within this connection with someone that, for some of you, you may already know, Six of Cups. As you may know, also my favorite card in the deck, it is all about the purest of hearts. And th this is a soulmate energy, yes, uh, past life connection, yes. But as I always say, the gesture that the kid is doing in favor of the little girl comes from the purest place of his heart, you know? There is a pure energy in the Six of Cups, and it is the kind of energy that I was referring to, speaking about the approach that some of you may have embraced when it comes to love in your life. The Six of Cups is also an energy about core values, the things that can guide us, each and every one of us, uh, along the journey. Uh, fond memories, why not? And maybe the connection that you will have the chance to pursue can be with someone that, for whatever reason, uh, may have been involved in your life journey. Maybe you were together um, in school, high school, 
uh, college years, uh, depending on your age, of course, but this is a, an energy that finds roots in the past. Um, it is not necessary that we are talking about uh, some ex. We can talk about someone that you already know and maybe uh, never had the chance to be considered as a, a love partner, but maybe the journey has offered uh, some unexpected uh, turn of the events. Then we have the Hermit, which is about um, introspection, yes, embracing the calling to a deeper understanding about things. But the main feeling that I'm getting with the Hermit and the Six of Cups is about a potential connection that finds roots back in time, meaning that if you are aligned with the um, past life experiences, this can be a scenario that may find some connection with this situation because the Hermit is a an old energy there is an ancient wisdom you know and with the six of cups the combination is pretty powerful and the past can assume a major role you know some kind of feeling of knowing each other um, in a deep deep way and this is beautiful to see, but sometimes it can be even overwhelming, you know. Eight of Pentacles is um, an energy about holding your vision. This man knows what it takes in order to bring to life all these beautiful pentacles that are the source of his own uh, fulfillment, satisfaction, success even. He knows that every little detail can make the difference. And this is the reason why he can stand out um, compared to others that maybe are not focused as much as it can be. This connection can be an opportunity to grow together and this can be um, a healthy opportunity by itself, but at the same time, this can come as a, an opportunity work-related maybe for some of you, because we know that the Eight of Pentacles is an energy about the opportunity and the ability to create your own stability and uh, satisfaction. Now guys, let's go and clarify a couple of cards. I'm curious about the Nine of Wands, I'm curious about the Four of Cups, and then I will go for the Hermit energy. So let's see. The young man, this person has embraced an inner process in order to understand um, what didn't work in their life before. And for this very reason, they needed a different point of view, different perspective. Enlightenment comes with the young man process, a process that cannot be rushed, you know. It takes time, but even if it is an uncomfortable position, there is a higher purpose within it that justifies the discomfort, basically. And there is patience also with the Four of Cups, with the Seven of Pentacles, meaning indeed that some of you may have waited for the right connection when it comes to love. This is a patient energy. This lady knows that it's only a matter of time before she is able to reap the benefits and the fruits of the labor that she has already put in. In this case, for some of you guys, the labor is about your inner growth, your finer qualities that you have built along your journey with time, effort, patience. But we know that patience is a powerful virtue and the reward that you are calling in for your own fulfillment will kind of repay the effort that was um, required. Now let's see the Hermit, because this ancient wisdom, this also maturity that the both of you can share, Seven of Swords, leaving behind something that didn't work. Now, 
The Seven of Swords is an energy that usually gets the lies, betrayals, uh, the sea uh, situations, you know? In this case, the Hermit is too powerful, too wise, too aware of what things truly matters, you know? The Seven of Swords, in this case, is about some past pattern that was involved maybe more on the side of the person in the first row because they they have the wounded warrior in their flow of energies and with the young man a new perspective an enlightenment seeing things in a different way is kind of the same thing that we can find with the hermit and it is the ability to recognize seven of swordish interaction you know um situations that are not aimed at the best possible outcome because maybe someone uh, just wants to take advantage of the other person and so there is a calling to understand what's going on with the hermit this is possible and the encouraging thing is having the sun bottom of the deck which is about happiness and self-realization you know the chance to shine the brightest light If the person that some of you will have the chance to deal with, or some of you uh, directly, um, have interacted in the past with situation where you have felt taken advantage of, you have learned through these experiences in order to gain a great deal of maturity, and some kind of ability to recognize these situations that basically are the opposite of the ones that we have shared about the Six of Cups, you know, the ones uh, driven by heart and soul. And for this very reason, you pay attention to the little detail, you know, that make, that can make all the difference. And this can be true also for the other person. This interaction can fulfill a desire for love that some of you have nurtured through the years. The other person may have embraced a new chapter in their journey, even traveling from different places. They can even come in a city or a town where they are born, let's say, coming back from uh, different experiences with a great deal of maturity acquired through the experiences, even those that are not satisfying, because we know that the Seven of Swords is a tricky, sneaky, and not exactly loyal energy. But there is potential, there is potential that can be offered to this connection in order for it to take place. So guys, I will leave it at that. I hope it was helpful. I'll continue on Vimeo. I'll see you there if you want to join me. The link is below. If you resonate, let us know. Leave a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.